ओके जी अस्सलाम वालेकुम एवरीवन एंड वेलकम अगेन टू जीपीआई टॉक वी हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक टुडे एंड यू नो एन इक्वली इंटरेस्टिंग गेस्ट्स टू टू कवर द द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डिजिटल बैंकिंग एंड आल्सो टॉक अबाउट डिजिटल बैंकिंग स्पेसिफिक टू द रिटेल स्पेस um so for that i've got uh, uh, meer najib rehman uh, with me and as usual we've got faisal anwar from canada um so thank you uh, both faisal and najib for uh, joining us for for this session um let me just um, uh, first ask uh, najib uh to to introduce himself a little more but also tell us about what sort of work he's doing in this digital banking digital financial services space so najib over to you uh thank you uh, salman uh first of all i think it's uh, you've you've uh, picked up a very uh, you know interesting topic which is obviously currently uh you know the talk globally you know about uh, digital banking and the digital ecosystem or digital transformation so uh, a lot is happening all over the world and especially in pakistan it's not uh, lagging behind uh, so i have been primarily in the uh, my i started my career in the payments industry uh, especially uh, what 93 in red dinus club which was the payment card and uh, then i moved into banking and uh, bulk of my career has been in retail and commercial banking uh but uh, throughout my uh, banking career the uh, digital portion or what we used to call it e banking or alternate distribution was kind of my uh, uh passion and interest so that portfolio kind of stayed on with me along with other portfolios that i was graciously uh, given and i was lucky enough to have that experience so uh, so uh, as you know in uh, ab emirates bank abn rbs uh, faisal bank and then uh, ubl in in uk and some uh, you know experience in the central asia as well uh, lately since i came back uh, you know uh, in 2017 i have uh, also gone on the other side which is the digital or the service provider side so i was with ncr as country manager for a year uh, and uh, you know looked at the market and the digital financial services whether it's hardware or software from the vendors perspective also uh, and uh, and uh, for the past a few years i've been involved in consulting uh, especially in the digital payment space uh, so i am on the panel of a uh, few uh, uh, global uh, consulting firms and i uh, you know work on various projects uh, which uh, where i can be a good fit and which pre- pretty much covers the digital space whether it is in pakistan uh, or abroad so uh, and it's is given me very good insight especially in the government uh, uh, you know uh, uh, space uh, you know we have done some work in uh, uh, bisp we have also done some work with uh, various uh, you know like sindh government and uh, punjab government in various institutions on their payment side you know and how they can uh, uh, you know uh, make it more efficient and more convenient and more reachable so uh, good insights about uh, you know the country itself uh, and not just in banking side but also in some of these other areas and right now i'm involved with secp's uh, digital transformation so another government entity so very good uh, insights uh, you know as to uh, how they are approaching a digital transformation and how they want to lead and have provide more access to uh, customers uh, all over the country okay thank you thank you najib um so let me just while you were explaining uh, uh, you know digital transformation for different organizations uh, i guess the first question that comes to mind is you know what what do we mean by digital financial services um i guess it means you know different people would would have different interpretations of it but you know we'd like to hear from you now what 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 is this digital financial services that i's going to explain karina <laughs> right <laughs> well if you look at f- f- financial services as a whole to so usme uh, it's not just banking usme fir insurance bhi aa jati hai wealth management bhi aa jati hai plus you have uh, uh equities and so and so forth you know there's so many different parts of uh, financial services so so digital financial services is basically everything let's say for example agar ek bank hai aapka ek traditional bank hai 
whatever services and products they are providing through whatever processes uska front end and back end is all electronic it's all automated it's all digital right so that is basically what digital banking is i mean it is automation of all your processes front end and back end kai dafa kya hota hai ki front end let's say aap ek mobile app kar di but back end is all you know still manual ya agar aap lending karna cha rahe hain to you know maybe front end can be an app for instance but back end mein sara wo file aa rahi hai wo uh, you know credit uh, review ho raha hai agar aap credit card ke liye abhi bhi apply kare for instance so there's a lot of manual you know back end processes so if all of that is converted to digital and it's you you get a decision immediately so you know so that would be you know in the realm of digital banking front and back end all processes are automated so that so, would so, be the you know definition kind of in our context okay. or global okay. context yeah okay and uh, and so so what i understand is ke um, you know ek to back end pe jitne processes hain unko paperless karna digitize karna okay. that's that's one or Bilkul. then you have a chance of you know maybe in terms of when it comes to lending you know bringing in scoring models and all of those sorts of things and you know putting it uh, in in that entire process so that the process becomes quicker um, uh, and and providing those services to customers in a in a seamless quick and seamless Bilkul. manner um एक तो ये ये यू नो ये समझ में आती है कि यू नो वंस यू वंस यू गेट अ पेपरलेस प्रोसेस गोइंग टू द कस्टमर अप्लाइज फॉर अ प्रोडक्ट एंड गेट्स इट क्विकली राइट आई गेस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट कम्स टू माय माइंड एंड एंड आई लेट फैसल आस्क द नेक्स्ट वन इज यू नो अ ट्रांजैक्शनल कन्वीनियंस सो आई लुक एट दिस एज ट्रांजैक्शनल कन्वीनियंस अम दैट यू कैन ओपन एन ओपन एन अकाउंट अ पेपरलेस यू कैन देन ट्रांजैक्ट इन योर अकाउंट पेपरलेस through your uh, digital app and if the front and the back is digitized it makes it easier but you know when we talk about um digital uh going to the next level and i'm not coming to digital banks right now but digital going right. to the next you talk about you know uh is it going to substitute a human uh, interaction for solicitation for uh, relationship building Uh, and all that sort of thing do you think that uh, digital has that uh, potential and is, are there any examples around the world for that uh, uh iske andar i think i personally feel ke human humanity humanity <laughs> will always be a part uh, part of it i think aap uh, agar har cheez everything is digitized ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन हैज टू बी देर कस्टमर चाहे जहां का भी हो चाहे वो बाहर हो या पाकिस्तान यू नो लोकल हो ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन विल ऑलवेज बी देर नाउ द ट्रिक इज दैट हाउ इफिशियंटली डू यू यूज योर यू नो ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन यू नो वाइल यू आर यू नो टॉकिंग टू योर कस्टमर बिकॉज यू डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू कंप्लीटली बी कट ऑफ फ्रॉम योर कस्टमर एंड एंड नॉट गेट द इनसाइट यू नो बिकॉज at the end of the day when when banks are providing digital so let's say if someone is providing a complete end to end digital service hmm. how are you going to get the insights you know if you go back maybe 20 years 30 years jo ek branch manager hota tha uski jo insights hoti thi were very you know i mean very deep and very detailed they, they would know everything about their customer their business what they like what they don't like what kind of services they want you know so so मैं ये नहीं कह रहा हूँ कि अभी भी है बट मेरे ख्याल से वो इनसाइट एलिमेंट कम हो गया जरा बट इफ ऑल ऑफ दैट इज ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू अ डिजिटल फॉर्मेट लेट्स से अगर एक आप कस्टमर आपके पास आता है या आपके पॉपअप होता है आपकी स्क्रीन के ऊपर इफ यूर प्रोवाइडिंग सर्विस सो आपके पास वो सारी कस्टमर इनसाइट होनी चाहिए so, जो हम सिंगल mm-hmm. व्यू की बात करते हैं जनरली इन बैंकिंग टर्म्स तो एक mm-hmm. तरफ तो उसका चले फाइनेंशियल डेटा आ रहा है सारा कि यार अकाउंट्स कितने हैं कार्ड है नहीं है क्या मैं उसको क्रॉस सेल कर सकता हूँ नहीं बट एट द सेम टाइम आपके पास उसकी इनसाइट्स भी होनी चाहिए कि यार ये बिजनेस किस तरह का करता है इसके पास और इसकी क्या रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं यू नो फॉर इंस्टेंस आई गिव यू वन वेरी स्मॉल एग्जांपल कि अभी आप फोन करते हैं लेट से इन द कॉल सेंटर तो वो आई आ जाता है फिर आप प्रेस वन प्रेस टू प्रेस थ्री वो करते 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 आधा घंटा हो जाता है द डिजिटल एलिमेंट कैन बी के यार वो पहले ही कस्टमर की आपके पास इनसाइट्स हैं थ्रू 
you know analytics or ai ya ml jise hum kehte hain you know uh, artificial in- intelligence or machine learning that you know you already have that kr okay you are having in, you know pro- problem with your logging on to your new account or your your app or you are having problem with your card activation all that should be right there i mean that's where it it will go uh, if if not already in some of the other mature markets so mm-hmm. that is what i think we should be you know uh, envisioning and and going uh, you know uh, forward on that basically okay okay but thank you uh, uh-huh. uh, faisal uh, uh, yeah. over to you for the next question yeah um sulman just to add to what you said about uh, paperless environment which uh, any digital uh, organization including digital banking uh, can facilitate but i think it is it is perhaps more than just a paperless environment it is about you know basically giving the right kind of uh, experience uh, to the customer and uh, that would entail i think two different things i think sometimes a distinction is made between digitization and digitalization so the first mm-hmm. step i guess and mirza could uh, perhaps add or elaborate on that is is the digitization of data okay so you basically capture information from different sources from traditional as well as non traditional sources and then you use a technology to manage that data and to enrich the customer's experience as well as the internal uh, experience of the bank i mean since there are so many f- functions at work so um I think the uh, key in this case perhaps is that uh, since you know since it's all about data uh, you know the data quality I mean obviously has to be uh, dependable and it has to be uh, you know high quality data and then uh, we talked about customer experiences so I think uh, digital banking should enable the bank to be you know maybe there for the customer at the key moments in his or her life you know uh, and basically be able to give some real time advice as well uh, not Very just cool. doing a transaction so i would like meets up to maybe expound upon uh, some of these points no no absolutely he- absolutely because you see at the end of the day it's all about customer insight right i mean that's what the bottom line is but and then how is that insight captured you know, if i am a relationship manager or a branch manager all that information is, is is in my mind you know i mean i know that customer so mujhe uska pata hai basically ke, you know so and so forth but that doesn't help you know the overall uh, bank or what you are trying to offer to the bank so so that's why data analytics and data mining and usse pehle the quality of data You know, I mean, I'll just give you one example. I remember uh, during our ABN Amro days, we had 2005 me uh, data warehouse se lagaya. So first thing we found found out was that yeah, data cleansing to sabse critical cheez hai. Agar mera naam agar Mir Najib Rahman hai, it could have been in in the in the system. It could have been different spellings. Uh, ho sakta hai apka first name, middle name, last name na ho, wo ek hi row ke andar saara aaya ho. I I Chundrigar could be written 17. I remember 16 different ways I I Chundrigar was written. You know, in the bank system, mm-hmm. yeah. and you know, systems, computers, technologies sees binary one. Uh, you know, ones and zeros basically. So if everything is not 100% as per, so वो आपका quality of data आपको वो मिलेगा नहीं. So mm-hmm. if I want to find out कि यार how many people um, you know are in you know uh, salaried segment, age such and such. on ai chandrigarh road it will take me uh, forever to you know to get that information agar main kahin targeted marketing karna chahu so so yes absolutely so data insights is absolutely critical and how we use that data and how do we uh, you know uh, uh, build our products and services around that data so data provides us information right uh, but then aapne aage bhi to dekhna hai na ki yaar how will this मैं और क्या इसको दे सकता हूं यू नो एंड दैट्स वेयर इनोवेशन कम्स इन फ्रैंकली स्पीकिंग बिकॉज़ आई थिंक व्हाट आर आर बैंक्स इफ आई कैन जस्ट ऐड इनटू इट कि अगर हम अपने ट्रेडिशनल बैंक्स को देखें प्री क्रैश एनवायरनमेंट लेट्स बिफोर 2008 एंड सो एंड सो फॉर इट वाज प्रीटी मच यू नो रन ऑफ द मिल थिंग आई मीन कोई एज सच कोई मेजर इनोवेशंस भी नहीं आ रही थी एंड यू नो 
they were just going on because aur zyadatar ke paas legacy systems the and so itna zyada koi botheration tha nahi and then uh, you know as we move forward and we get close to covid and then post covid wo ek bahut bada ek gap ek reh gaya beech mein which was innovation so why i mean so we see all these fintechs coming in in the last 5 10 years more so now uh, recently but wo ek gap tha because banks were not innovating they were so wrapped up after 2008 2009 crash in the kyc and compliance and all those elements which has to be there of course but you know they had but they forgot the innovation part ki yaar humne nayi cheeze kya karni hai humne customer ke liye aur kya need create karni hai jiske liye hum usko because you know do do cheeze hai na ek to jo aap de rahe hain aur fir you you create those needs i mean for instance i remember reading somewhere uh, i know steve jobs is quoted in every seminar or webinar mm-hmm. but you know so someone asked me uh, asked him ki yaar uh, you know aapne kya aisa socha tha for you know where you had uh, you know iphone so he said yeah i was we were perfectly fine with ipad uh, uh, okay ipod jo unka music wala tha he said we could have just gone with it but you know then where is the innovation so you have to create a need of customers uh, uh which they don't know yet and that's when you know they went into the transformed into the phone side because wohi iPod became an iPhone jiske andar music bhi tha aur fir sari cheeze the and so on and so forth so so the point that i'm trying to make is that innovation is is critical and jo hamare uh, uh, you know traditional banks hain wo innovation ek to mera khayal se ya to karna bhul gaye ya lag behind kar gaye also because you have legacy systems bade bade banks ke andar hundreds of systems hain Uh, you know, uh, and and uh, आप अपने आई टी वाले के पास जाए वो बोलेगा नहीं भाई अभी आप ठहर जाए अभी तो ये नहीं कर, मेरा ये सिस्टम ये नहीं कर सकता वो नहीं कर सकता जो आप मांग रहे हैं वो मैं नहीं दे सकता बजट्स के इशूज आ जाते हैं यू नो सो दिस इज सो मेनी अदर एलिमेंट्स दैट यू नो स्टॉप इधर इधर स्टॉप इनोवेशन और what you want to do basically you know and what you want to give to your customers so all of that has you know that entire you know you know thing has to be looked into by the board and by the ceos that how do we actually move forward on this what can what impetus do we need to provide to our teams and what is our strategy i mean what is it that we can do so that time to market uh, you know is also there because dekhen ab to cheeze aap you know a lot of these digital banks outside uh, you know uh, they are providing rolling out products in 3 to 4 weeks hame 8 8 9 9 mahine 10 10 mahine lag jate hain एक प्रोडक्ट रोल आउट करने में और टेस्ट करने में और फिर यू नो वो सारी चीजें करते करते व्हाई बिकॉज सिस्टम्स लेगेसी वाले हैं कई कई जगह जुगाड़ लगी हुई है यू नो सो सो दे दे देर आर ऑल दीज चैलेंजेस एंड एंड अनलेस यू हैव कैप्ट अप यू नो विद द मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी यू नो यू विल ऑलवेज लैक बिहाइंड एंड एंड इट नाउ थिंग्स आर मूविंग सो फास्ट दैट इट विल बी हार्ड बट इट्स 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 स्टिल नॉट यू नो यू डोंट हैव टू जंप द गन बट यू जस्ट हैव टू build uh, build your systems build your talent build your uh, technology stack and and find out why do you want to provide what is the gap in the market what is it that we want to create in the market and how can we address it with the best experience so so ye cheeze bahut zaruri zaruri hai mera khayal se and and i think at the same time i would say ke like पहले तो ट्रांजेक्शन स्पीड का इशू होता था कि यार हम कन्वीनियंस दें वो सब चीजें तो अब मेजॉरिटी प्रोवाइड कर ही रहा है टू सम एक्सटेंट बट देन इट्स नॉट द स्पीड बट इट्स आल्सो कि यार आप कस्टमर की इनसाइट्स और उसकी जो रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं क्या हम उसको भी देख रहे हैं क्या हम उसको कोई नई चीजें दे रहे हैं ताकि वो अपनी डे टू डे लाइफ में यूज कर सके और उसके लिए हम कन्वीनियंस पैदा करें और इको को बिल्ड करें खाली मुझे याद है जब आई स्टार्ट डाइनस क्लब इन इस्लामा से तो उस वक्त तो अब मैं कार्ड बेचने जाऊं यू नो डिफरेंट कॉर्पोरेट्स को बोलते हैं यार ये तो कार्ड कहीं चलता ही नहीं अब मैं मर्चेंट्स के पास जाऊं बोलते हैं यार ये क्या चीज है कौन सा कार्ड है और अच्छा उस वक्त वो टर्मिनल्स भी नहीं थे वो जिप जैप मशीन होती थी वो आपको याद होगा वो क्रेडिट कार्ड जिस यू नो उस पर चलता था उनके पास जाऊँ कहते हैं यार ये क्या हम यहाँ तो कोई आता ही नहीं है कार्ड यू नो तो इट वॉज लाइक कैश इनके पास जाऊँ वो कहते हैं वो नहीं है उनके पास जाऊँ कहते हैं वो कार्ड नहीं है so what i'm saying is ki wo ecosystem jab tak aap nahi karenge ki aapke paas product bhi ho aur uska infrastructure bhi ho aur demand bhi aap sath create kare aur demand bhi ho so wo so isi tarah aap agar hamari is waqt uh, pakistan mein bhi dekhe so ecosystem is still lagging behind yeah. i mean you know we have 29 30 million debit cards 
but 85% of the transactions are cash withdrawal transactions mm-hmm. you know why because wo sab ja ke wo uska ecosystem nahi hai i mean ab shayad 95000 96000 post terminals, terminals lag gaye hain but uh, you know it's it's hardly mera khayal se there are like mai hisab laga raha hu there are eight point of sale terminals per 10000 adults in this country so you can just imagine ke kitna you know abhi uh you know time hai uh, or a uh, growth ki opportunity hai for people to actually you know to build that ecosystem and it's not not just cards and pos but you know there there's so many other elements within the ecosystem that have to be there where uh, people can use those facilities uh, so so rajiv uh, uh, yeah. uh, th- very interesting because you know that kind of takes me back to um uh, the commercial banks बिकॉज uh, हमारे जो ट्रेडिशनल बैंक्स हैं uh, उनके पास डिजिटल टूल्स तो हैं uh, और मुझे याद है इन द गुड ओल्ड डेज वेन वी यूज टू यू नो वेन वेन वी यूज टू लॉन्च डिजिटल प्रोडक्ट्स तो यू नो द फेदर इन द कैप यूज टू बी मोर अराउंड यू नो प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च हो गया राधर देन यू नो प्रोडक्ट की यूटिलाइजेशन क्या है यू नो हाउ मेनी कस्टमर्स डू वी हैव एक्टिवेटेड ऑन द प्रोडक्ट इट टुक अ लॉन्ग टाइम एक्चुअली फॉर यू नो इफ यू रिमेंबर वी व्हेन वी लॉन्च द डेबिट कार्ड टू स्टार्ट विद तो यू नो इट वाज व्हाट 2001 और 2 टू आई थिंक या वी हैड टू ट्रेन कस्टमर्स टू you know go and use the atm card to darte the log ke you know atm ko use and and then eventually you know came a time where you had to have a a, a debit card to be a Absolutely. bank so and then came the digital app and it wasn't very long ago till very long ago i am i'm talking about 2 3 yes. years ago ke aap bankon se agar puche ki you aapke paas digital app to hai but how many customers are actually using the digital app uh or using this digital tool to transact with and how many are still coming to the bank you know to draw cash or to make you know the, the deposit checks or withdraw etc to abhi bhi aapko wohi nazar aata hai wo rush hai aur wo you know and, and i'm just talking about uh, transactional services here um uh, rather than i mean abhi abhi i'm not talking about selling products and services through the digital channel i'm just talking about uh, transactional services you think jis uh, tarah abhi and i'm and i'm still sticking to the traditional banks with digital tools kyunki wo to hain abhi what do you think is stopping banks or has stopped banks from actually using these digital tools and services more aggressively to uh, you know to provide their customers transactional convenience but also at the same time provide the customers with the next best product right acha agar aap if you go back in history uh, again i'm talking uh, let's say in the early 2000s or even maybe as late as uh, 99 uh, 98 um us waqt consumer banking was just picking up you know in pakistan which means you know retail banking consumer banking and pehla uh, khair you know we had our card uh, dynas club card was there since 93 but credit card first jo on a larger scale uh, bade platform pe aaya wo city bank leke aaya in 1994 and then exactly two years later anz grindles hota tha they came up you know with the credit card offering in, uh, in 1996 and then it just you know started uh, on सो पहले जो हमारा क्या होता था कि आपने देखा देखी अच्छा यार ये ऑफर कर रहा है मैं भी ऑफर करता हूँ एंड एंड सो एक तो एक रेप्लीकेशन है ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर ऑलरेडी देयर नाउ द अदर थिंग इज के हाउ लॉन्ग डज इट टेक यू टू यू नो बिल्ड दैट प्रोडक्ट एंड हाउ यू नो लॉन्ग डज इट टेक यू टू रोल इट आउट उस वक्त चले एक्सपेक्टेशन भी इतनी ज्यादा नहीं होती थी उस वक्त एक अकाउंट भी शायद चार पाँच हफ्ते में शायद खुलता था यू नो एंड At the same time, I think innovation element जो था वो उतना शायद ज्यादा नहीं था कि यार चलो किसी ने क्रेडिट कार्ड लॉन्च किया आपने भी कर दिया जिस तरह आप यू नो मोबाइल बैंकिंग एप्स ऑन लॉन्च होती हैं तो वो दूसरा कहता है अच्छा यार 
maybe that's where everyone is going so i should also have a you know mobile banking but aap khud to dekh chale wo to ek very basic services hai but one has to be innovative in terms of yeah for instance i mean we launched btf i think in 98 99 if i'm not mistaken Hmm. you know btf jo tha us waqt kya tha we didn't have a credit card but humne balance transfer at a lower rate it was it was innovation it was a new product you know i mean it yes. was not a, a credit card but it was a btf uske baad ab dekhe in the next 10 15 years every other bank had a you know btf product but hmm. that innovation element you know mera khayal se wo reh gaya aur uski wajah yahi hai ki we because the, the banks were so wrapped up in and they were so in their comfort zone in providing whatever services they were ke wo you know they were happy there you know so uh, kuch uh, you know there was really only when frankly speaking i'll just then kind of move the discussion mm-hmm. to when we started uh, the one link element jab aapki wo uh, you know digital rails lag gayi i mean if you really look at it before we started one link और वन लिंक से पहले तो इट यूज टू बी कॉल्ड एबी एंड एमरो स्विच यू नो अस्क्री बैंक वाज आवर फर्स्ट कस्टमर जिसके साथ हमने यू नो वी दे टाइड दिस अप लेट मी लेट मी जस्ट ऐड हियर नजीब दैट फॉर द ऑडियंस एज वेल एंड दैट नजीब वाज एक्चुअली द इफ आई मे द इंस्टिगेटर ऑफ व्हाट यू सी Uh, as one link today it was you know <laughs> the idea that he took across to other banks and you know there was i guess mnet at that time and got all the other banks on board and uh, supported by abn ambros uh, uh, you know uh, team pesel used to look after our, our um, operations and it and you know so uh you we were able to you were able to get that on uh, so so kudos to you najib for taking that Very, uh, you, yeah. you being too generous but i think uh, i must say obviously it is always a team work and then i think also our solution providers that was mm-hmm. very critical as well i mean you know ek koi kuch nahi kar sakta you have to have a team work you have to have like minded individuals or partners uh, you know who have that uh, vision who want to take these take things forward and who want to innovate you know and how you can make things uh, you know efficient accessible for for the public good i mean it was never ki yaar ye hum kar le hum launch kar de aur hum hame fir bade janab gold medal milenge badi wah wah hogi i think oh. that concept you know should never be there in in my uh, view to to main baat kar raha tha ki jab humne start kiya to um, kya hua uske baad yahi hua ki we started adding more banks more banks i think we had seven eight banks within uh, within two years and uh, then jo hamari ek mulk ek national ek strategy usme bani ki yaar isko humne aur aage leke jana hai and then of course the state bank was very much involved and then you know so the point that i'm trying to make is that the state bank had to mandate all banks ke aap ek to apne systems upgrade kare aur dusra you have to be connected to either one link or or to mnet क्योंकि जब तक वो पुश नहीं आई बैंक तो अपने आराम से बैठे हुए थे बिकॉज अभी भी बहुत सारे बैंक हब इन स्पोक के ऊपर चल रहे थे यू नो द डिजिटल ब्रांचेस वर्सेस यू नो हाइब्रिड और यू नो मैनुअल ब्रांचेस जो थी वो उस पर चल रहे थे दे वर क्वाइट फाइन विद इट ओनली वेन थिंग्स गॉट मैंडेटेड सो दे हैड टू यू नो बी पार्ट ऑफ द ऑफ द स्विच सो दैट मीन्स के सिस्टम उन्होंने अपग्रेड किए दैट मीन्स अच्छा फिर ए पे भी स्टेट बैंक ने मैंडेट किया कि हर एक बैंक ने एटीएम भी यू नो होनी जहां ब्रांच को लेंगे वहां एटीएम होनी चाहिए उससे क्या हुआ कस्टमर्स को और एक्सेसिबिलिटी मिली दे हैड मोर एक्सेस मोर कन्वीनियंस ऑफ साइट एटीएम्स लगनी शुरू हो गई सो so, जब तक कई दफा आप जो हमारे ट्रेडिशनल बैंक हैं उनको पुश ना किया जाए या उनको यू नो दे डोंट सी द लार्ज पिक्चर के वेयर इट कैन गो दे दे डोंट और एटलीस्ट एट दैट टाइम दे डेंट बॉदर यू नो दे वर हैप्पी इन देयर कंफर्ट जोन you know because abhi bhi dekhe bahut sare banks are still upgrading their systems abhi bhi bahut sare hain jo abhi tak purane systems pe chal rahe so and they are having uh, difficulty special yeah um very interesting conversation indeed uh, but let me first absorb what ajib has so far said um that you know basically we are talking in terms of an ecosystem okay so uh, maybe a time will come when we would uh, no longer be speaking in terms of uh, this industry or that industry but we will be talking about this ecosystem or that ecosystem okay 
Now, now the question uh, uh, that comes for the traditional banks, our existing banks, uh, is whether they are still, you know, in a position to basically, uh, you know, do this kind of disruption uh, that we are witnessing in the case of uh, digitization and digitalization. So on, on one um, hand, you have the pace of change and on the other hand, you have the degree or the extent of change. Now in that, I mean, as Ajib also said, uh, I mean, that basically uh, innovation is something that is done very fastly uh, by these uh, so-called fintechs or up and coming, uh, let's say digital banks. Um, so where does that leave the conventional or the traditional banks? Because, you know, they would be, in my opinion, they would be like uh, uh, in two boats or living in two worlds. How do they, I mean, address that? Uh, you, you know, because they need to take very bold and fast steps, which they are not capable of doing as of this point of time due to bureaucracy and certain other factors, legacy system Bilkul. and so forth. So what what do you see? I mean, what is the future of these traditional banks? Uh, 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 yes, a uh, very good question, Faisal. I, I think traditional banks, first of all, have a huge opportunity. Or it's one reason as compared to the new digital banks coming in which license will get a license. The wealth of their is the is the data of their customers i mean they have especially large banks they have millions of customers look at the data that they have of those customers so all those insights they already have so all they have to do is uh update their systems so that they are more agile because you see bottom line ye bhi aa jati hai ki chale, there's this buzzwords bahut chal rahe hain aajkal agility hai aur flana hai dhamkana hai wo bechare ceos bhi confuse ho jate hain aur board members bhi confuse ho jate hain ki yaar ye kya terminologies chal rahi hain all they have to ask mera khayal se they, all they have to ask their people is ki yaar how fast can you roll out a product i want a product roll out in 4 weeks what is it that you need to roll it out in 4 weeks right so usme phir wo sari cheeze cover ho jayengi Mm. And I think it is a very key metric that I think banks globally are also looking at. And I think in Pakistan, they should be looking at that your cycle is so fast. If you say that I am a very big digital champion, but it's taking you eight months to roll out a product, then that's neither here nor there. Mm. So, so your capacity to roll out new products has to be fast. Not because the other one will do it, but the way the world is moving and the way the customer insights are being developed by everyone. So the, the speed of change is fast, but at the same time, you should be there, you know, because aapka customer fir koi aur le jayega. Yehi hoga. Ab dekhe na, why are the fintechs there to begin with? Because yeah. there was a gap in the industry because the traditional banks weren't really moving that fast. Fintechs saw the opportunity. They said, okay, we are uh, you know, light in the sense that we are not investing millions in systems. We are going with cloud technology. We have we have banking as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. My my upfront cost relatively would be less. I can roll out products much faster. Yeah. But uh, you know, so then what can banks do? So the traditional banks and uh, the other thing which really I think kind of bugs me, and that's just my personal opinion. Banks are not a technology company. Banks yeah, are bankers. People, <laughs> some people yeah, say that they are a technology <laughs> company with a license to bank. <laughs> oh, bade logo ne hai, I think uh, bar bhi or either bhi. But but I is my personal view. People can disagree. Bank is there so to provide. Bank ka kya kaam hai? Deposit lena or loan dena, or yeah. everything then is between these two pillars between lending and uh, between deposits. Everything is then everything is between these two. And and what the banks need to do is that your customers are partnerships. Kare. Why do you have to rely on that's where fintech comes in? Because fintechs can develop products for you. Aap unko utilize kare. Why do you have to have your own software development team? Why do you have to have energy? And 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 this other concept, ji, first to launch, first to be in the market. I yeah. think it's it's ridiculous. Well, market may it's any opportunity, chale, first to launch, okay. Kal, 
नौ महीने बाद या एक साल बाद कोई और कोई चीज करता है लेकिन आपसे बेहतर करता है तो आपका कस्टमर तो क्या है उसके पास सो यू हैव टू बी अ सुपर फास्ट फॉलोअर आई मीन यू हैव टू बी अ फॉलोअर बट अगर आप यू नो इफ यू यू नो यू डोंट मूव अवे फ्रॉम द ड्राइंग बोर्ड और द डिजाइन बोर्ड एब्सोल्युटली मच टाइम आई मीन एंड फॉलो सच because lot of product people, people you know lot of product teams <laughs> i'm sure product teams are they they cry about this ki okay you know we do our you know focus groups we do our deep dive into customer insights and you know this is something that we have wo bechare when they go to it or you know the support mm-hmm. units they say oh i'm sorry i have these regulatory uh, you know uh, things that i have to do first then you know your number will come you know after you know next year <laughs> you know so <laughs> so that's the problem you know Achha, and and you, then uh, yeah, yeah sorry yeah i'm sorry i mean before i forget this question i understand that uh, our central bank state bank of pakistan they have uh, created sandboxes right yes so uh, so do you have any idea how many banks or fintechs uh, let me put it this way are actually making use of that sandbox facility and what has been the experience so far i mean because here as you said earlier the regulator has to push uh, you know uh, these banks to innovate so i mean for doing that they have created sandboxes and i believe in se cp for different purposes of, and for different entities also they have got a sandbox right? absolutely Achha. absolutely so yes i i i'm not really sure how many have utilized it but i know a number of banks have created their own digital labs or or their own sandboxes if you will right कि आप उधर ही अपनी टेस्टिंग भी करते हैं एंड यू डू ऑल योर यू नो प्रोडक्ट इनोवेशन एंड टेस्टिंग इन दोस लैब्स बट आई डोंट नो आई मीन व्हाट डू यू सी यू नो इन द मार्केट दैट इज रियली डिस्ट्रप्टिंग आई मीन ऑल आई सी इज दैट यू हैव मोबाइल एप्स एंड यू हैव सम एम्बेडेड यू नो एप्स इन इट अगर आपने फॉर इंस्टेंस इफ यू वांट टू मेक अ पेमेंट टू गवर्नमेंट लेट्स से इफ यू वांट टू ट्रांसफर फंड्स टू एससीपी और सम you know some some other entity of the government so you have those uh, access now basically school payment so i mean what i'm saying is that they've just added on to the rails of what you already had as a vehicle which is let's say a mobile app which is the most used uh, you know a vehicle at the moment so uh, the, the the concept of sandbox is basically that you come up with your thoughts you come up with your ideas and you test it out and you uh, you know and you see how it works and then you know you you uh, roll it out so i know a lot of banks are have their own labs and and uh, some banks are i'm sure uh, using the you know the regulatory sandbox also and i think it should be fully utilized but at the same time you see before they even go to the sandbox what customer insights do they have of their own customers do they have good analytics do they have uh, good uh, you know uh, machine learning or well, maybe machine learning and ai is maybe ahead uh you know may, may not be there for majority of the banks but just basic data of your own customers i mean how many times i mean i'm sure all of us uh, you know have been have got calls from call centers you know on the phone ki sir you know i'm selling this product you know my own uh, banking uh, you know uh, call center calling me uh, are you mr najib rahman you know uh, i we can offer you a credit card product and i said bb i am your card said <laughs> and i already have a card product you know so so the point that i'm trying to make is that they don't have that information i mean i don't blame the people who are calling but i blame the people who are not giving them the tools who are not giving them the right data that you know these are the and the sharing customers. of information yeah, and I mean, the sharing of information yeah. you know and and frankly i think banks also you know everyone is very uh, you know um, uh, you know uh, secretive they are you know hum koi aisa product launch kar denge and this and that i think now working independently uh, will not work in this day and age it has to be a collaborative effort it has to be and i think maybe i don't know how pakistan banks association is is working on that but they should have a collaborative arm where banks collaborate see what the market needs what the new demands are and make proposals to the central bank you know and and the state bank has been very forthcoming if you ask me i mean yeah. they have done yeah. and you know frankly you can't just expect government to do everything you know aap khud bhi kuch kare aap khud bhi kuch cheeze ideas leke aaye and then of course banks are very you know concerned about the privacy of their own customers ki nahi main share nahi karunga for instance ab jis tarah hum baat karte hain open banking ki 
what is yeah. open banking is basically you know you are sharing data with an entity who can use that data and maybe roll out products for you kyunki aapke paas na time hai na aapke paas maybe that technology is there so so that's what that is but banks are very you know particular you know i don't want to share my data i can only give you this much and there's no regulatory framework either i know state bank is working on it uh in fact i was part of some uh, entity who was willing to work with the central bank and help them with the you know developing the framework also so the regulators heading in the right direction but the banks also need to i think uh, yeah. come up the curve and uh, you know use that i mean you know use that uh, you know that is already there bahar kyon ho raha hai itna zyada isliye because you know all these uh, fintechs or other entities are developing products by you know once the banks shares that data so you know so the sharing of data and having the right data and utilizing that data will help and why is the cross sell you know i mean i've i've heard salman's uh, you know webinars before there's a huge issue of cross sell why aren't customers cross selling each other i think one of the main banks uh, you know we, we know standard chartered has a very high cross sell ratio than any other bank why they are utilizing their uh, customer insights and customer data pro- uh, properly you know i've been a customer of an ex bank for like 20 years aaj tak you know no one has called to offer me any anything of something that i need you yeah. know it's more of a spray and pray right i mean you see even now you see ads on tv you know you get a model in and you know she she talks about for you know 10 seconds but it's such a waste of money i mean now is the time for targeted you know uh, marketing through social media uh you know and and look at the social media i mean i was just going through those statistics i mean it's unbelievable the number of pen, you know the penetration of you know all your social media you know in the country you know 83 million internet users i mean look at uh, the 72 million social media users or you know i also did some uh, research and i saw that uh, uh, facebook 74 75% of bank customers prefer to engage on facebook followed mm-hmm. by linkedin for some reason uh but otherwise it's वैसे अगर आप अगर आप पाकिस्तान टेलीकॉम अथॉरिटी का डेटा देखें तो सबसे ज्यादा जो यूज हो रहा है यू नो इज इज फेसबुक एंड देन YouTube एंड यू नो Instagram एंड एंड देन यू नो एंड सो एंड सो फॉर सो हाउ कम वी डोंट सी दैट लेवल ऑफ एंगेजमेंट ऑन 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 दी सोशल मीडिया यू नो एरियाज बिकॉज़ इट्स सो टारगेटेड एंड और अब तो हर कोई यू नो द यंगर जनरेशन द मिलेनियल्स एंड you know the gen z ko target kar raha hai no one watches tv i don't see my kids watch tv at all ha <laughs> they they don't yeah absolutely. you know everyone's on the mobile you know wo koi content creator bana hua hai koi youtube pe apna kuch kar raha hai you know like my son came to me the other day ke baba i have you know done this and i've con- you know created this and i already have an offer for 5000 dollars oh wow <laughs> you know he's, he's 17 you know he's 17 and there's so many other examples you know across the country yeah. you know so so all i'm saying is that this generation is not going to be looking at these silly ads you know on the on the tv they are going to be looking at the engagement levels at the right media where they are present all the time aap dekh le apne ghar mein bhi family mein bhi you know you sitting together you know everyone is on the oh pv yeah. bhi phone pe hai you know the kids are also on the phone and the daddy is also on the phone and then, you know so, everyone so, is fully so, 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 ji that brings me to the next very interesting point ke you know we're talking about social media and the digital engagement uh, uh, space and now the state bank is looking to you know give out licensing uh, licenses for digital right. banks right and we hear about five or seven licenses and then we hear about you know banks and telcos and other kind of um, parties coming in Uh, yeah. with expertise with different sorts of expertise uh, applying for these licenses what do you think uh, post issuing this license these licenses what sort of you know what sort of disrupt is will there be a disruption uh, will there be a banking products offered in a different way is the traditional um um uh, individual and small business uh banking um industry going to be impacted uh, traditional banks sitting with these portfolios of individual customers and um, and small businesses i know that uh, fintechs are already uh, sort of in that space and and working and and you find the micro 
uh, finance banks uh, also making uh, their way into that space because left that with the digital banking licenses uh, right do you think here we will have some swift movers and uh, because mujhe aise lagta hai ke the disruption is uh, yes it may be about um, uh, you know those products and services being offered through digital means but it's all it's also about the swiftness with which uh, uh providers will now come in and start uh, uh providing services uh to you know to these customers what do you okay uh let me just start first by looking at the traditional banks that we have at the moment uh what was their uh, you know the 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 board what did the board wanted from them and what did the ceo wanted from from the bank at the end of the day shareholder value profitability and so on and so forth if you look at the digital banks globally kyunki abhi pakistan mein to shuru hone hai digital banks but globally dekhiye jo emis jo electronic money institutions are already there i think we have three which are uh, commercially launched it's uh, sada pay and uh, you know uh, naya pay and uh, finja uh, yes. so if you look at the uh, investors or uh, venture capitalists who are providing the seed money to the digital banks or to the emis uh, uh, you know who are in pakistan or even globally majority are not looking for profitability i mean if you look at the entire you know top banks digital banks in the world only 5% are profitable why because the way the vcs and uh, the way their uh, investors see things they want to look at growth and they want to look at scale अभी भी आपके टॉप बैंक ज्यादातर दे आर यू नो नॉट मेकिंग मनी जिनके पास तीन साल चार साल ऑलरेडी काम कर चुके हैं चाहे वो यू नो मोन्जो हो या रेवल्यूट हो दीज आरलिंग बैंक इज प्रॉब्लम मेकिंग मनी बट दॉइंट दर आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक इज के दॉट प्रोसेस इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ट्रेडिशनल बैंक तो एक तो मैं ये पॉइंट जरा क्लियर करना चाह रहा था कि जो जिनको हम चैलेंज बैंक या न्यू बैंक कहते हैं ट्रेडिशनल बैंक देर जो ऊपर बैठे हैं जो उनके इन्वेस्टर्स एंड सो फोर्थ दे आर लुकिंग एट ग्रोथ एंड दे आर लुकिंग एंड द इन्वेस्टर्स आर लुकिंग एट स्केल के यार अभी प्रॉफिट को देखेंगे अभी तो वील गोइंग टू यू नो बिल्ड आर यू नो बेस नाउ इफ यू लुक एट द ट्रेडिशनल बैंक दे हैव अ लॉट ऑफ एडवांटेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे ऑलरेडी हैव द कस्टमर्स जो नए डिजिटल बैंक आएंगे उनको तो सारा कस्टमर क्रिएट करना पड़ेगा देन यू हैव ऑलरेडी द कस्टमर इन साइट so you already have that information now the thing is how quickly are you able to roll out you know new product and sabse badi baat the distribution arm so let's look at you know all this in pakistan context look at the distribution arm of the banks or even uh, agent network jo branchless banking uh, kar rahe hain basically i mean in, 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 in you know 30 40000 2 uh, 300000 uh, active agents hain so और ब्रांचेस देख लें ओवर 16,000 ब्रांचेस हैं मिला के तो बट लुक एट हाउ कैन दू यूटिलाइज दो ब्रांचेस आई मीन बिकॉज वेन यू कम अप विदिजिटल बैंक आर कस्टमर्स जो हमारा अभी इस वक्त जो ट्रेडिशन है या जो कल्चर है स्टिल वेरी चेक बेस्ड एंड कैश बेस्ड आई मीन यू लुक एट और दे आर ऑलमोस्ट फोर हंड्रेड मिलियन पेपर बेस्ड ट्रांजेक्शन हैपनिंग विद इन आर बैंक ब्रांचेस विच इज प्राइमरली चेक एंड देन पे ऑर्डर एंड सो एंड सो फोर्थ so that means ke acha roughly koi 80 million ke kareeb cash deposits hote hain bank branches ke andar so that means ke jo bhi retail digital bank aayega to usko customers to aise milenge jo ke check users bhi honge aur cash depositors bhi honge wo digital bank ka to matlab hi hai ke you are branchless you are basically a, you know you are aapka ek kahin office hoga and that's it you know you are pretty much all digital so you are basically app driven you know and 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 technology driven there is no brick right. and mortar setup so how will you address those customers you know jo aake deposit karna chahe ya check you know kuch karna chahe har koi transfer to nahi kar sakta so so that will be one challenge for the digital banks but that will not be a challenge mm-hmm. for the traditional banks traditional mm-hmm. banks ke liye challenge ye hoga ki yaar main mera technology stack kaisa hai how does it compare to the digital banks Should I, you know, अब क्या मैं उनकी स्पीड में प्रोडक्ट रोल आउट कर सकता हूँ नहीं कर सकता और मैं क्या इनोवेशन लेके आ सकता हूँ आर माई प्रोडक्ट टीम्स रेडी फॉर दी आई मीन आर दे डिवेलपिंग द राइट प्रोडक्ट आर डू दे है राइट इन साइट बट दे हैव ऑल दैट डेटा 
Now, mm. the other uh, issue is that for the digital, I think, banks in Pakistan context would be, if you look at the trade, if we want profitability, ko dekhna chahe, right? If that is one of the key metrics. So mm. profitability-wise or revenue-wise, if you look at all the traditional banks, you know, 2021, I, you know, you can see 84% of total income of all your traditional banks came from interest income, right? Mm. And hardly 17% was fee income. So fee income is all transactional, mm. right? And the rest is all through lending. And the government uh, lending, uh, which banks are doing, bulk of them, uh, all of them, in fact, I mean, 54% of total income is interest income from uh, bonds and government securities, and you know, and and T bills and so on and so forth. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. so the so so for when the digital banks come in, and if they are going to be looking at the profitability profitability element, they will be allowed, of course, to investment in in, in government securities as well. But you know, lending will be the key. And yeah. how quickly they roll out their, uh, you know, lending products. How everything is connected. You know, you have uh, obviously your uh, Nadra verification, all your AML checks, KYC element. You know, these are all connected. You have your up to her centralized scoring. Ki bhi baat ho hai. You know, e, uh, wo kya mm-hmm. hai usko? Uh, I forget the name. Uh, you know, where you get all your uh, credit checks and you know all that uh, element. Everything will be online. And then digital onboarding also. I mean, for instance. Uh, you know, you can, you know, get on quickly, uh, you know, with the bank and, and start operating. So, so there are both pluses and minuses. I think there are challenges as well as opportunities. Uh, challenges for, uh, you know, look at the traditional banks. I mean, still, I mean, I think we are one of the few countries where branch growth abhi bhi hai. We are growing at almost 5%, 6% growth in branch, uh, you know, uh, network, which is growing banks. Ka. But at the same time, if you look at, uh, you know, uh, digital transactions, mobile pay, internet banking, Uber, I mean, they have gone over 100%, which is great. But what is migrate ho hai from, from your traditional banks, from your traditional transactions, your branches, mein karte hai, how much mm. of that is migrating to the digital channels? Right? Mm. I mean, so you have to look at that also. So, I haven't seen so dent nahi dekha in terms of ke what has, you know, migrated. Because maybe it's still very early and we are still in our infancy stage. I, for me, one yeah. of the key metrics is, you know, for instance, you look at uh, currency in circulation. This is uh, your cash sitting in your pockets at home. You're using it for trade, for, you know, for all cash-based transactions, right? Whether you're you know, whatever it is. It's not in the banking system. Right now, it's around 7.8 trillion rupees of the entire money supply is is uh, sitting outside the banking system and jo abhi aapke deposits hain ya jo bhi aapka is waqt 16 17 trillion ke jo deposits hain so so you know so that is being transacted but kya currency in circulation mein kami aa rahi hai i mean are all those people migrating to digital yet or not so usme to koi kami abhi nahi aa rahi maybe it's too early uh, and and the other thing is of course ke jo uh aapki banking is waqt jo uh, lending hai for instance wo abhi zyadatar you know digital nahi hui hai i mean there are fintechs and other entities coming up uh, you know with digital lending mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. but is your but is your product uh, and and your and your uh, data points are they of the old uh, style or have you evolved into the new data points ke main customer ko kis basis pe main lending karu and and is it me thoda sa or i just want to probe this a little bit because you see uh, and there's a comment uh, here as well about um, you know standard chartered bank and when we talk about data uh, you know there's a, a, a facebook user I, there's no name here that says scb uses data and penetrates ppc and and you know and, and looks at nps which is basically how you make money uh, you know you uh, you use the data eventually to be able to right. successfully uh, sell products and services there's a facebook user that uh, that has actually said scb uses data and um, there you go uh, and right. penetrate so so ek side pe to we've got traditional uh, banks with all this sitting opportunity inside the bank right. where 
you know uh, what i have seen is that of the total customer base sitting inside the bank the top 10% actually gives 90% of the deposit uh, but if you look at product other product penetration into these this customer base um it's uh, uh, close to you know negligible uh, so 1 to 1.5 Uh, will be um, you know will be that number whereas if you look at you know a bank like this mentioned here uh, you'll you'll probably see you know a product penetration of 4 to 5 and that's how they land up making money now the thing is okay how can the the digital space products can they one can can they help in this uh, in this product uh, penetration and you know i'll give you some some of my thoughts on it because i think you know banks can 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 do all the ai and come up with you know things like the next best product etc but if if your uh, data says that i need a wealth product and somebody based on that data calls me up and says you know we have wealth products do you want to buy i will 8 out of 10 times not buy because the person who is offering it to me i have no relationship with right i'm not a millennial nor am i gen z so i mean you know um i will not buy and 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 there are a lot of people like me that are part of the 10% i'm not saying me but but part of that 10% of the banking industry that provides today value to the banks right right so so sorry so, uh, are you uh, the, the challenge uh, yeah yeah just lost your voice actually go ahead can you hear me can you hear me now yeah yeah it was breaking up in the middle so i didn't i see where you're coming from and i and, and yeah. i understand yeah. uh, uh, you know so yes yeah, so you have your uh, you know so the uh, you know you take a typical maybe large or medium sized bank so you have various segments of your customers you know you have your traditional customers uh, you know maybe 60 plus you have your younger a lot and you have your mid tier lot uh each have their own ways of you know utilizing the banking services either through various you know however they like it you have traditional customers who would like to visit the branch talk to the branch manager have a cup of tea share some thoughts this and that uh they might not be converting to or they may not be the target market first of all for the emis or for the digital retail banks because they are set in their ways maybe at that you know uh stage uh, they may not be i'm i'm just being very general i mean they might be of course uh, some are very tech uh, savvy as well but i'm just just generally saying that yes there will be that uh, uh, target market as well which will be more comfortable with with their you know relationships that they have with their traditional banks but the point is that you know why uh, so that's why i'm saying that you cannot take the humanity out of digital banks either for instance if i am on a mobile app right and i'm using it now a lot of times i've seen that if there's a problem i have to then go into their faqs or you know hit the contact us button and then i call them and get onto their call center and then wait and then finally get to the agent or whatever and then finally yeah. i'll get my problem yeah. addressed yeah now now why can't while i'm on the mobile app bank should provide me a video call right there and then i should press a button and an agent should pop up right there and then he already knows that i am verified because i'm using the digital app he doesn't mm. have to go through the entire ke ji baap ka naam bataye and cna you know all that verification yeah. element he doesn't have to go through that or mm. ask you to again enter your pin because you know so so aapne customer convenience aur jo experience hai wo bhi to dekhna so so what i'm trying to say is that once you are there there's a face behind you know the customer will be more than i think uh, have a much better experience he'll say ke sir main dekh raha tha ya you know customer bole ke oh yaar mujhe transfer kiya hai mujhe samajh nahi aa rahi hai mujhe guidance chahiye ya mujhe kuch uh, you know koi issue aa raha hai so right. so imagine that level of engagement you know that is uh, you know critical and right. while that agent is talking to the customer he already has a lot of details about that customer so he can put him at rest also because he has that data that insights that you have been plugging it in in that profile of the customer in your bank's database or whatever front end system you are using ke ji this customer does not like to talk too much or there's a customer is very you know so i mean these are the insights that are useful 
for the yeah. agent to interact with customer you know mm. and and uh, and and say, you know so so what i'm trying to say is that digital banks have a lot of opportunity because they will be more agile and they can roll out uh, you know products they can be more innovative because their infrastructure and their ecosystem allows them to traditional mm. banks they they have that entire data and insights of the customers they have millions of hundreds or hundreds of thousands of customers but how a how effectively are they using it what are those insights even updated or not apart from just transactional data ki ji aapne itni atm use kiya itna ye use kiya but aapki uski uski needs aur kya hai jo aap address karna cha rahe and then of course i'll always come down to that uh, fact that how good are your systems you know how uh, modern are they and how uh, quickly can you uh, you know roll out uh, new products or even upgrade your own uh, existing products aapne bhi dekha hoga and i know faisal knows because you know wo bahut sare legacy you know 50 type ke current account humne kisi zamane mein khole honge wo abhi tak unke wo khole honge in the system you know eating up space eating up kaam ka time and you know all that stuff and then bhai aap unko you know just go back look at it just upgrade you know jo jisme kam customers hain kam deposit hai get rid of it you know and and come up with something new but again mm-hmm. wo issue aa jata hai ki ji wo abhi you know the system mein abhi issue hai ya it support nahi kar raha and, and i think that I, I'll, i'll come to another part mm-hmm. i think what banks should also consider that's my personal view that mm-hmm. there should be a tech product group you know what currently happens you have head of digital mm-hmm. maybe reporting into the ceo or maybe to the coo you have head of it or cto or cio wo apni duniya mein hai your digital head is apni duniya mein product side apni duniya mein theek hai i mean we have these silos <coughs> the gap is the tech product group i think banks need to perhaps or especially the traditional banks they should consider and evaluate ki yaar agar main ek tech and business ka main ek product group bana aur us wo they, they should be responsible Mm-hmm. then you will see the rollouts maybe because you see then you will have the the right talent the the right experience and the right mm-hmm. of course all these other things also who can then mm-hmm. perhaps help roll out things relatively faster bajaye iske ke you know wo aap silos mein kaam kar rahe hain and then everyone has their own priorities right i mean uh, and and yeah. bank ki sabse pehli priority will always be regulatory you know agar koi changes aapne system mein karne hain jisse regulatory element improve hota hai ya whatever to aap fir line mein lag jaye right so so it's very important that i think uh, the approach should be not a cookie cutter approach ke yaar sare digital banks wo sare head of digital hire kar le yaar chale yaar hire to kar liya but at the end of the day what are they able to deliver even though they have maybe all that know how or you know understanding but they can't do it alone they are so much dependencies on all these mm. you know departments mm. and people and but traditional retail banks hopefully they will not be a you know typical copy of your traditional banks right it will be a totally different you know evolved structure it will not be the same i'm sure so we we'll have to we will have the requirement to, yeah. is different so we'll have to wait and see how how they evolve because there are telcos also looking to get in then there yes, are yes. the traditional banks that are looking to get in and then there are uh you know people coming in with different skill sets bringing in that investment uh, uh and and looking to get in as well so it will be an interest no no absolutely because you see i uh, mean the, the other thing is that we have to train uh, our people as well i mean you know because we have to utilize our existing people aap har waqt you know naye log to aapko you know itni aasani se milte bhi nahi especially you know mm-hmm. who have that either experience who have like coders hain programmers hain bahut sare aur digital media experts hain you know because you will be relying totally on mostly on social media mm-hmm. hopefully <laughs> because that's yeah. where your you know, market is going when i speak to different people in in the industry um, you know all the way from telcos to banks and sorry faisal i'm hogging this space a little bit uh, <laughs> uh the feedback uh, the, the the you know just to pick on their brain and ask them you know what what why why would you want to do something like this right uh, if you talk to say the bankers they will say well you know we want to do this for the for the unbanked unserved underprivileged space right okay let's come to acha yes. before we go we, be, uh, uh, sorry aapki awaaz beech mein chali gayi thi so i don't know if you completed Achha. your question or not oh nahi main abhi uh, thoda sa ab aa rahi hai ji 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 
अब आ रही सो so, एक तो बैंक से यू you नो know, बैंकों से मैं बात करता हूँ तो कुछ ये भी कहते हैं आई एम श्योर देर आर बैंक हु आर थिंकिंग ओके यू नो इफ वी गेट दिस लाइसेंस हाउ कैन वी इवॉल्व द डिजिटल ऑफरिंग uh to go to the same market but with uh, with more agile uh, and and swift conversions in a different culture altogether there the question is well it's the same people sitting on the board it's the same people sitting on on the yes. team how are you going to change the culture if you haven't been able to change yes. the culture within the bank right so that's that's absolutely. the other question absolutely uh, then then when uh, how when you t- talk to say telcos looking to get in so they talk about millions and millions of customers and you know um and 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 they the customer is very small is this is there a business case here like you mentioned earlier so bade farak farak approaches hain ideas hain so it it becomes a very interesting space to uh, to watch and see you know what are people looking to do and then again like you mentioned ke the boards have their own the vcs have their own agenda here um and uh, you know they may not be looking to make money but they're looking to get share and share of market is defined as number yes. of customers um which may not really mean uh, making money so um interesting space they, i want to thoughts around there yeah no 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 absolutely i think there are very interesting times coming ahead i think the, let's say if you look at the traditional banks the boards and the ceo i think they'll have to double hat one hat is that they are running the traditional bank and let's say they get the digital retail license also so obviously they will spin it off you know a new spin off they come up with a new company and you know so on and so forth maybe uh you know uh, do partnerships and go you know on on cloud technology and so on and so forth because their existing infrastructure of the traditional bank will not allow that or you know for instance uh but you know the mindset has to be then different because if they are looking totally digital then mm-hmm. they should not be looking at profitability at least mm-hmm. initially you know mm-hmm. at least for the next 5 6 years they should be just mm-hmm. looking to build scale because if you're talking retail space retail is all about scale mm-hmm. right so so the so they have to have that growth and scale element in mind first than 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 profitability but they have the opportunity to maintain their efficiency ratios low or their cost low because they're really not investing billions of dollars into new systems i mean they already have uh, cloud based systems already i think there or they will be there where entities are providing you know uh, the banking as a service or you know product as a service or platform as a service or software as a service so all these things are there where you are on subscription level rather than you are investing in you know uh, you know in, in in large sums of money and and right. then that technology is fast and then you can you know roll out your own uh, uh, products or whatever you want to do right so for tra- for and for traditional bank and you see the other thing is that hopefully uh, the traditional banks you see they traditional banks think functionally you know mm. functionally they are correct you know mm. but they are totally devoid of emotional element meaning customer empathy customer insights customer needs you know wo functionality pe zyada tawajjuh denge but emotional element se jo customer ke sath hona chahiye usse devoid honge right mm. so the digital retail banks will really have to ensure that functionality to honi hi honi chahiye and it has to be consistent but at the same time they should not be devoid of emotional element where the humanity element is there where they are still in touch with customers unke paas a branch network to hai nahi तो कस्टमर किस तरह आके अपनी कोई फाइनेंशियल नीड्स डिस्कस करेगा सो दैट्स व्हाई देयर 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 यू नो कनेक्शन विद अ कस्टमर इदर थ्रू अ कॉल सेंटर और थ्रू मोबाइल ऐप यू नो सो ऑल दोस थिंग्स विल हैव टू यू नो बी देयर बेसिकली एंड दैट्स सो दैट्स द अपॉर्चुनिटी यू नो दैट्स द चैलेंज बिकॉज़ ट्रेडिशनली इन द रिटेल स्पेस बैंक्स हैव नॉट रियली एक्सेल्ड इन रिलेशनशिप बिल्डिंग विद देयर कस्टमर्स स्पेशली इन द रिटेल स्पेस because boy na they relax they, they know kya mera customer hai 20 saal se baitha hua hai you know that's hmm. fine he's, he's you know ab hmm. aapne kya us bechare se kabhi jaake poocha bhi ke yaar matlab even if it's a low deposit maybe has a higher deposit somewhere else or you know hmm. he's hmm. doing more uh, you know his uh, larger share of wallet is with some other bank hmm. so wohi wali baat aa jati hai because hum log bhi kya karte hain you know ke yaar aap aapke jo rm the hain ya jo bhi aapke sales wale hain wo apne top customers ko dekhenge ke yaar balance wise मेरे टॉप कस्टमर्स कौन से इन्हीं को मैं कॉल करूं तो आपको क्या पता जो बेचारे बॉटम 
लेवल पे है हो सकता है दे आर टॉप कस्टमर समवेयर एल्स यू नो सो सो दैट माइंडसेट एंड बिहेवियर हैज टू चेंज बट आल्सो बिकॉज़ यू सी अभी ट्रेडिशनल बैंक्स का जो जनरल माइंडसेट क्या है कासा कासा लेके आना है करंट अकाउंट लाना है सेविंग्स अकाउंट लाना है और वो किस तरह आएगा वो मैं ब्रांचेस खोलता जाऊंगा यू नो छोटी मोटी जो भी है उससे मैं करंट और सेविंग्स अकाउंट लेके आऊंगा I need low cost and stable funding. So then, half of that my deposit base, maybe 60% of my deposit base goes into funding the government securities. So, 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 so they are not really that you know bothered about really moving that fast into the digital uh, you know sphere or coming up. वो वो फिर ये है कि यार regulator ने कह दिया तो चलो यार I should do this or you know the other banks are doing it so I should do it you know. but uh, but when when we're talking digital then we're talking scale we are talking about agility we are talking about really understanding the mm. you know the nps you know you have to have mm. that otherwise you know just providing fast service or convenient service up both those days are gone that everyone is doing that Correct. what is it that you're going to go different what Correct. what new innovation are you going to bring in yes That's data will true. provide you historical data yeah right but yeah. how do you use that what is artificial intelligence it, it reads your you know pattern your spending pattern and so and so forth from which you can maybe you know right. uh, right. you know do so many other things uh, you know for your customer so so so, so najib i'd like to uh, invite faisal if he has any questions then i want to go to some of the comments and questions made by the audience faisal sorry about no 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 that's good. i mean it is it is such a vast uh, topic and such a fascinating topic that uh, you know uh, there's so many uh, thoughts as well as questions coming to mind so i would i would try to confine myself to maybe three or four of those quick observations as well as questions then najib basically talked about uh, the need for having uh, a, let's say a coordinating group which he calls the a tech product group uh, which should actually work uh, across the organization across the bank with uh, different stakeholders so that actually brings me uh, to maybe sort of looking at the successes and failures of uh, some of the uh, digital banks uh, you know elsewhere in the world because in pakistan of course it is still a nascent uh, uh, kind of stage to have uh, not only digital banks but even the traditional banks they are at very preliminary sort of stages of digitizing their uh, functionalities as well as their offerings so uh, i mean one example really stands out which uh, is of dbs the development bank of singapore and uh, you know the approach that was taken by their ceo was that uh, he basically said that he didn't want to see any siloization i mean that 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 you mentioned as a possible pitfall so he involved the entire organization the entire bank into this digital effort um so 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 maybe we've got to learn from the uh, let's say so called use cases or the success stories of some of the banks uh, some of the traditional banks on the other hand there are of course uh, digital banks successful as well as failing uh, elsewhere in the market for example we have the case of uh, monzo bank in uk which you also mentioned uh, you might uh, recall that uh, i think last year they had to face a lot of uh, problems uh, with the regulator with the fca uh, since uh, they had said that uh, their anti money laundering uh, uh, you know procedures they had a lot of gaps and deficiencies and on the other hand they also faced some issues uh, with their customers i think 13000 of their customers in uk uh, they were not able to access their accounts because they had been uh, uh, blocked unilaterally by by the bank Uh, so i i mean they basically uh, they were not very much uh, at least in their initial stages they were not very much let's say uh, careful about uh, the uh, the controls particularly the anti money laundering controls and also not uh, too pushed about uh, the uh, system controls in general then on on the other hand you also see new bank and you new bank in uh, i think that's a bank which is based in brazil they've got uh, other lo- yes. lo- locations as well in uh, yes. latin america i think they've got presence in mexico and they've got 
presence in Colombia as well. They try to enter the U.S. market as well. So they are they seem to be doing well. They've got a customer base of something like 40 plus billion customers. So yes. what did these digital banks do rightly that uh, that uh, our uh, emerging digital banks can can learn from? And what did uh, uh, DBS as a traditional bank also did rightly? So I think we can we can. Uh, perhaps make use of at least the information that is in the public domain for these. Absolutely. Uh, secondly, you, secondly, you uh, mentioned uh, about the need for having uh, the right kind of people, the right kind of talent. I mean, obviously, they have to be digital savvy. But where do you find these uh, people today and uh, with uh, a particular regard to Pakistan? So I don't know if uh, the digital banking industry or shall I say the ecosystem has got enough pe people uh, to actually uh, support uh, their efforts. Uh, so that's that's an issue and maybe what uh, these banks, these digital banks or the traditional banks which have got digitization uh, you know, as part of their roadmaps, they should tap the international market. I mean, because these are digital banks, so they don't have to be physically located in one place. So that's one thing. Thirdly, you uh, talked about emotions and uh, you also talk about empathy. So obviously, uh, the empathy for, for the customer uh, in particular, but also for the society at large. I mean, uh, these digital banks are supposed to be very su supportive of the of uh, financial inclusion efforts, uh, for example. So that actually takes me to my favorite area, which is ESG, environmental, social and governance. Uh, then uh, one more thing before I, sorry, Salman, before I conclude uh, my my comments. I mean, you mentioned about uh, the compliance controls or KYC controls, and you uh, alluded to the Nadra verification. But Nadra verification is only one step. I mean, obviously, which is applicable to maybe level one accounts. Uh, but but as you also know that. Uh, a lot of elaborate uh, steps have to be taken in terms of uh, due diligence. It's not just the uh, identification of documents or the verification of documents, but also you have to look up the sanctions list, for example. Okay? Yes. That's yes. one. And uh, then, uh, although it applies more so to the corporate uh, customers, but, but you still have to know who is the ultimate beneficial owner. So these things are probably not available in, in, in the Nadra database so how do you think these yeah. things will be addressed sorry <laughs> okay long no, let me just take the last question first uh, okay. i think what i meant by nadra was as an example yeah. that you have all these entities so whether it's verification or biometric verification or address verification or even if you have uh, you know built in uh, uh, digitally uh, you know for all your uh, other uh, kyc and email whatever is available digitally if you are connected, right, and if you are able to get all that information digitally, so the power point being that, you know, one has to do all that in any case, but are you doing it fast enough or not? Fast. How quickly are you doing it? Because otherwise, then, you know, what's the point? The point being, if you're still going to be two weeks or three weeks, it's going to take them to, to you know, you know, open your account, yeah. then, then why do it, right? So, so what I'm saying is that all those elements are are given that you are digitally connected to all the verification or KYC or AML elements uh, that are there, and I think now there's a centralized uh, you know approach also coming in that all that because you know one, if for instance a customer who wants to open two three different accounts, so each time he doesn't have to go through that entire check, that all of that is centralized in one location and it's updated. Each bank provides its update, like they provide credit bureau, you know, the, the payment history and update. So I think that would be, that will help, uh, first of all. Yeah. And, uh, but coming back to your first question that what has worked, what has not worked, I think each digital bank in different geography, because, you know, they're, they're, they're the, 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 the country that they are in, the systems that they have, uh, you know, it, it's everything is so diverse that you cannot have one model fits all right yeah so so what i have seen is even in fintechs i mean you know general you know uh, the, the if you look at the historical data of the last 3 5 years you know 80 to 9 80 to 85% fintechs uh, fail 
right? Uh, either the after the seed capital, uh, you know, the first round A and round B, which is three years and five years, uh, most of them don't make it to the three years because uh, either the, the, you know, whatever the seed capital that they had, they have really burned through that money very quickly. Nice swanky offices, you know, a lot of cost here and there, hiring people, expensive people, this and that. So, so they have to, of course, be very careful how they use that seed capital as well. The other thing is, are the is the venture capitalist or the investors are they fully aligned with what your product uh, or your uh, strategy is? Uh, for instance, you know, is is your financial forecasting? We all know everyone <laughs> does sandbagging. I mean, is it realistic? You know, uh, because uh, so these are some and or whatever products have you come out with? Yeah, was there really a need there, or is someone else doing a better job than you are? So there are a lot of I think uh, you know uh, uh, challenges that various banks face based on their own environment, their own culture, their own country, and based on the evolution of let's say digital understanding and know-how either amongst the regulator or within you know. Uh, you know, within your uh, surroundings, so uh, so some have failed because of either uh, the 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 funders uh, or the investors backed out because they weren't they found some place else to fund uh, you know, or it was just not successful within the first two three years for various reasons that 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 I mentioned right. So that's why I think it's also important for you know the digital retail banks coming up because you don't have to do everything immediately, right? I mean, why? you should first know what is it that I'm trying to fix in the market? What is it that I'm trying to address that others have not been able to address? Being first in launching this and being first in launching that is neither here nor there. <laughs> Excuse me. So that is very critical. And I think it would be a good exercise, exercise for these digital retail banks to say, what is it that we do not want to do? Right? Because if you don't know what you want to do, or you want to do everything, then you don't end up doing anything. Yeah. Because you know you want to do this and you want to do that, and you know you have a very passionate team, and you know we should be doing this, and you know, but, but you can't. So, so first they need to figure out what is it that's missing in the market. What need can I create, or what, you know, area that I'm going to. Uh, uh, cover, uh, you know, so that I can be of value uh, to the, that segment or that customer base or whatever it is. I think that is very critical. And then at the end of the day, it's all about people, processes and technologies. I mean, those have to be fully aligned and making sure that, you know, uh, and, and frankly, with digital banks, you don't have a very large teams. You know, you have, you start very small, five, six, eight people, because you have to have your basic you know, the other compliance and all those uh, elements uh, in place and your marketing in place. But then a lot of things are outsourced. You know, you uh, you, you build partnerships with various uh, fintechs or solution providers so that, you know, you, you move fast and you roll out fast. And at the same time, ensuring that your your all your regulatory ducks are in order. Because, you know, I mean, you can spend a lot of money and you can build something and then, uh, you know, second year of audit, <laughs> you know, they shut you down because of this reason or that reason. So, 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 yeah, one has to be, of course, if you're going to play in that uh, space or the big boy space, you better be fully uh, prepared and, and have a very clear cut uh, strategy. Uh, it's very critical. Otherwise, uh, you know, it's, it's unfortunately not going to work. And, and traditional banks are going to give, you know, they're not, you know, they're, they're going to give a hard time uh, for a digital only retail bank, you know, coming up. Uh, because they are going to, I'm sure, uh, they, they will improve, they will evolve, they will become more agile, I'm sure. Uh, if not now, maybe over a period of time. But those banks who are, who are not evolving, who are not, you know, really moving with the flow, with the modern mm. technology, I think they will be left behind, mm. uh, you know. But if they are happy with what they have, or if they're not in retail and they're more commercial or they're more, you know, and if their customers are happy, then fine, you know, that, but sooner or later, I think that will also change. But purely from a retail perspective, I think you, you because you're dealing with scale, you're dealing with lending, you're dealing with deposits, because, you know, so it's, it's not going to be uh, uh, very simple. And, and, and also, if I may add, you know, let's say you come up with a new digital retail bank, 
you and i and salman and all the white collar people working in banks and you know all these savvy tech companies they would know but majority would have no idea what is a digital bank what is it you know i mean i've been banking with habib bank for 20 years what is this new bank ye kya karenge or how what is the security level you know what you know so so customer adoption of the new bank will not be that you know fast either i mean if i am very happy with my traditional bank and it's providing me all the things that i need through mobile mm-hmm. or whatever then why would i you know jump to a you know digital bank what is it need is that they are you know giving me that i should then go through that that entire you know process of you know changing banks and then you know meeting aur waise bhi you know aapne koi kaam karna hai yaar you know you have to know someone at the bank <laughs> yeah. you know that culture still exists you know why why do i have to know the branch manager or the ceo or you know the product head or group head yeah. ke yaar mera ye kaam kar do abhi bhi i'm sure a lot of people end up doing that ke yaar wo you know mere wo fintech groups ke andar log likh rahe hote yaar do you know anyone at upl yaar do you know anyone at flana bank or dimkana bank mera ek masla phasa hua hai it should mm-hmm. not happen you know mm-hmm. so that's where digital retail banks their processes they they have to be very you know very well thought through processes should be very convenient the customer experience has to be very very positive because if first experience is yeah. poor you can yeah. say goodbye yeah i think nail on head i think the customer experience at the end of the day uh chahe aap digital solution de rahe ho through a digital bank chahe aap usko traditional bank ke through face to face de rahe ho uh you need to ensure that that customer experience is um uh, you know uh is is seamless but also um you are you know the challenge is for digital is to be able to recognize obviously the next uh, next product and build the the customer's comfort level to an extent that when offered through a digital means is accepted i mean that exactly. i think is the is 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 the challenge for digital banks no 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 uh, but that is also a challenge for traditional banks because despite having branches and people and and what not uh, to build those relationships traditional banks have not not done that for years and uh, so if 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 I, was, if i was sitting in a traditional bank i would actually say you know i better get up and start building those relationships and giving those customers uh, a, a better experience relationship led experience before because you know those customers who provide me with my bread and butter are not uh, you know the the bottom 70% these are the top 30% unless i bear hug them eventually somebody is going to come and yes draw a bit of the my business from uh, Uh, you know uh, towards them so uh, i think this is uh, you know this is what what's going to be very interesting to to see how how things evolve no no my absolutely take is, but... yeah yeah my take is that you know again people like us uh, who are in a particular age and stage in life we still used to you know somebody listening to us talking to us uh, giving us a solution at the right time in the right way but i think there is a generation obviously the gen z etc whatever you call them uh, who are who are very used to kind of getting offers through uh, the, the digital space and assessing and and taking up those offers um and a very sort of very sort of uh, i would say um crude ex- uh, example is that you know i like to go store and buy a sh- you know try a shoe and buy it <laughs> rather than ordering it through uh, online and getting it and then saying i, I don't really like it. But, but my kids would do it you know um uh, so so obviously different uh, uh, you know different uh, parts of the population uh, that that will be targeted uh, by by different by different uh, sorts of organizations no no bilkul not this brings me to what i think faisal ne bhi jo kaha tha and i think it kind of connects into what you're also saying is ke yaar okay now digital retail banks aate hain what is it they're going to do first in terms of customer acquisition let's say it's a non traditional bank which gets a license and let's say it's a non telco bank that gets a license jiske paas ab is waqt to koi customer nahi hai so wo to ab he's starting from scratch what who is he going to target 
आई थिंक मेरा अपना ये ख्याल है कि दे विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो फॉर द लो हैंगिंग फ्रूट लो हैंगिंग फ्रूट इज एग्जिस्टिंग कस्टमर्स हु आर विद ऑल दीज अदर बैंक कि यार मैं इनको बैलेंस ट्रांसफर कराता हूँ मैं उनको एक बेहतर चीज ऑफर करता हूँ कि यार आपको उधर वहाँ पे अगर ये मिल रहा है फर्स्ट करें सेविंग्स अकाउंट के अंदर आई कैन ऑफर यू मोर बिकॉज देन आई डोंट हैव अ सेल्स टीम एंड आई डोंट हैव ऑल दैट ह्यूज कॉस्ट ऑफ यू नो लाइट वाटर हीट एंड यू नो स्पेस एंड यू नो ऑल दैट यू नो कॉस्ट आई जस्ट हैव अ वेरी टारगेटेड ऑडियंस व्हिच इज जनरली यू नो मोर टेक सेवी व्हिच इज योर जेन जी मिलेनियल्स इवन पीपल हु आर इन देयर 40s एंड सो एंड सो फॉर्थ एंड उनको मैं सबसे पहले उठाऊं बट हाउ आर दे एड्रेसिंग फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन बट इफ यू रियली लुक एट इट अगर मैं उसके ऊपर थोड़ा सा बात कर लूं बिकॉज़ दैट इज आल्सो अ वेरी यू नो की टॉपिक के फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन बिकॉज़ दिस होल थिंग इज इफ यू लुक एट इट सेंट्रल बैंक जो ये कर रहा है वो पार्टली फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन के लिए तो कर रहा है कि यार ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों के पास एक्सेस हो टू आर टू टू द बैंकिंग सर्विसेज अब आप मैं देख रहा था कि योर योर we have to first look at the adult population not the overall population because bachche to abhi nahi use kar sakte na because right now to you should have get your facts right first of all we have a adult population 18 years and above of roughly 120 million theek hai now various uh, service chahe wo world bank ho ya different karandas ke ho ya jo bhi ho the all kinds of service which estimate that your financial inclusion in pakistan is about 21% of the population or adult population so, i mean that comes out to roughly this is about a couple of years ago is roughly about 25 million people have access to financial services now is if now this is an educated guess because it's based on surveys so you take that sample and then you you know put it across the entire you know thing and then you come up with a number but if you look at the same number and you compare it with uh, bangladesh or india which have the same socio economic profile you know uh, i think uh, india is at 78% and uh, bangladesh is 47% why is it that we are still you know uh, you know around uh, 21% or maybe it's now 23% i'm not sure but these are 2020 numbers and then so that means that 96 million people or adults do not have access to financial uh, services so that's a huge number but but then you look at the number of accounts that state bank publishes you know i mean according to them it's uh, i mean uh you know tell me i'll i'll take the personal accounts forget corporate mm-hmm. accounts because you're talking about the retail space so personal accounts as of uh, uh, 31st december last year were 58 million total personal accounts right in the mm-hmm. country and all the banks microfinance banks as well as uh, your uh, you know ab isi tarah agar aap chale jaye to the mobile wallets under the branchless banking umbrella that's another 70 odd million accounts so but that means what ke there are obviously then how can we have financial inclusion with only 25 million people when you have all 110 million accounts <laughs> you know so that means there is duplication triplication you know i think that is understood so uh, why doesn't the central bank uh, publish the actual number of customers mm. only then you will find out what your financial inclusion status is i mean mm-hmm. you know your, your mm-hmm. unique identifier is your cnic mm-hmm. and you can map it across all banks and you know the service providers and you know mm-hmm. exactly ke yaar ek customer hai uske paas mm-hmm. kitne banks mein kitne accounts hain aur ya kitne mobile wallet account because mobile wallets also every person can have up to five sims mm-hmm. so you have u paisa you have easy uh, easy paisa mm-hmm. you have jazz cash i can mm. have maybe three different accounts with all of them so mm. <coughs> so financial inclusion ke liye it's very simple to get <coughs> the data you know so then mm. we exactly know ki yaar exactly masla kahan pe hai where so how are digital retail banks to figure out ki yaar main kisko ja ke you know pakdu you know how would i know ki mm. kaun financially included hai ya nahi hai that's where i think mm. partnerships come in you know that's where i would suggest that you know go to uh, a saas program go to bis you know they have uh, mm-hmm. in the national socio economic registry they have the entire data of the entire household i mean they have 40 over 40 variables about and with geotag mm-hmm. you know exactly mm-hmm. kitne log kahan pe hain aur unki socio economic status kya hai is waqt income mm-hmm. kya hai assets kya hai all that data mm-hmm. is available so so what right. i'm saying is that you know so so all these things that they have to come up with a new thought process they have to come up mm-hmm. with uh you know innovation otherwise mm-hmm. it will be just a replica of a traditional bank wohi customer jo wahan baitha hai wo ab idhar aa gaya 
और जो ट्रेडिशनल बैंक्स हैं दे हैव टू हैव अ वेरी डिफरेंशिएटिंग मॉडल एज़ वेल अदरवाइज देयर ओन पोर्टफोलियोस विल गेट कैनिबलाइज्ड वो ब्रांचेस वाले शोर मचाएंगे कि यार वो मेरा कस्टमर था अब वो डिजिटल में चला गया है तो मेरे आप टारगेट्स कम करें राइट अच्छा या फिर आप यू नो लेंडिंग भी यू नो लेंडिंग की आप करें डिजिटल से कर रहे हैं तो फिर आपके वो दूसरे लोग शोर मचाएंगे कि सर ये क्या बात है यू नो सो सो दे हैव टू हैव अ वेरी क्लियर कट strategy yeah, no. okay yeah. other existing traditional banks will come with digital retail banks then they have to be a, otherwise so they'll have a big problem ya to bole yaar sirf hum one year term deposits uthayenge digital retail banks for instance so that means your branches are not doing that so yeah. either you segregate them or you it's like uh, you know uh, you know for free for all har koi ghus jaye beech mein kood jaye fir to i think bahut bada इंडस्ट्री <laughs> uh it and, is and so we need to keep uh, you know our audiences informed and uh, uh, and learn ourselves as well uh but may i just say we'll have to bring it to a close uh there were comments and questions but you know we've run over uh, we've oh, run oh, over oh acha uh, okay but inshallah uh najib this is uh, probably not the only session we will do so right. you know uh, this as the space evolves we will pull you in to more uh, more of these sessions you are also a retail banker so this is a uh, gpi talk is focused on uh, on the retail banking space so we will right. pull you in for other topics as well but, uh, no no thank you thank uh, you absolutely you, you i think lot to share uh, lot to area. share a lot to yes. uh, you know uh, you know learning because we did a lot of learning and i think i'm still learning uh and yes, i think we, we can share learning. our learnings and uh, and <laughs> our uh, you know uh, our <laughs> what we you know it's it's uh, you know it, it will be great for the industry you know that's the absolutely. most objective a- absolutely and that's yeah. the point of doing these uh, uh, these sessions but i just like to thank uh, najib yourself for taking our time and giving us uh, your precious time faisal as usual uh, all the way from uh, canada uh, good weather there uh, when i say good i mean nice and cold <laughs> and um, special thank you uh, as well for uh, uh, for giving us your time and as usual coming up with uh, some really good information about every topic i must say and uh, and asking very very excellent uh, questions um thank you very much uh, gentlemen and um, uh, we'll thank be you. going uh, uh, you know offline now so uh, Uh, thank you and all right. thank you for your time thank, thank you very much thank you, thank you, very you much. for having us thank you. much obliged thank you thank you all right bye 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 thanks